Most of the sports data analysis videos you see are using spreadsheets or slow downloads, but I'm going to show you how to get live NBA player data in R with just a few lines of code. And yes, this method is better than a traditional API. We'll then do some data analysis to find the top 10 NBA scorers, and we'll visualize the results in a clean bar chart. So let's break it down. So first, we're going to load the two packages that we'll be using. Tidyverse for data manipulation and visualization, and HoopR for accessing NBA stats quickly. Next, we're going to grab the NBA player box score data for the 2024 season. This data set includes all the detailed stats from every game. Here's a quick preview of what that data set looks like. Now we're going to find the top NBA scorers by average points. So here's what this block of code does. First, we're going to filter out the rows where the player did not play because we want to find each player's average points scored per game. So we obviously don't want to count the games where they didn't play. Then we're going to group by the player and the team to summarize their stats. And then we'll count the number of games played and calculate the average points per game. We're also going to filter out players who played less than 30 games. So we're only going to want to see players who played at least 30 games this season. And the last step in this block of code is to sort players from highest to lowest scoring and just grab the top 10. If you're still following along with this video, leave an emoji of your favorite sport in the comments and next week we'll make a video featuring the most popular sport. All right, so when we run this, we get our data set that we queried. So let's go ahead and open this up. Everything looks good. And now let's go ahead and create a nice bar chart to visualize this data. So we're going to be using ggplot to create this visualization. So typically in a bar chart, you see your categorical data on the x axis and your numerical data on the y axis. I chose to flip the chart sideways to show the player names on the y axis. This way, it'll just be much easier to read the names. I also wanted all of the bars in my bar chart to be the same color, so I specified that I want them to be steel blue, and I labeled each bar with the exact average points just for better readability. As always, the more in-depth tutorial will be posted on the Athletics YouTube channel if you want more context about what all of this code does. So let's go ahead and run this. And here is our chart. This clean, minimalistic style is really perfect for sharing with others or adding to a report. Make sure to like this video and hit that follow button for more R programming and data science tutorials.